Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have still in my shop this charcoal canister from 2005 Toyota Corolla S. So as we all know, this is related to the emissions. And this one failed. I replaced it with the OEM Toyota part which I ordered di directly from dealer and the problem immediately went away. So I want to know for myself what happened to these valves if there is a dirt sand or why is it not moving or if it just rusted from the presence of the water. If you are also curious why these fail and has to be replaced, Stay with me in this video. And I was tripping over this for a long time. It was driving me crazy. I never could find the time to take it apart. I want to share it with you. So here is the mounting bracket, which will help us to see removing it. Will help us to me to see more. This part will be throw away. I'm not planning on keeping it, rebuilding it, and then it's selling it on the black market. So here is the hose, one of the hoses. Let's re remove that and we will start seeing. The areas which could have failed. This, this house, it's kind of in my way. I wonder when I will squeeze this one right here, if I can put it on the side. Let me grab another tool. It's always good to have these little picks. But if I just have one more hand, <laughs> It will be really good. So basically this one works. You squeeze it. Oh yeah. Now it cleared. It's a nice system right here. You just squeeze it. And it comes off. It nicely comes off. There will be a gasket. Right. Which everything is super dirty. Because as you remember. I filmed that replacement for everybody. As you remember, this is underneath the car, towards to the back, where is the rear suspension. And obviously exposed to all the moisture, dust, dirt, everything what is on the road. So basically, this is the electronic unit right here, connected still with this very short hose, which we We'll just get right now. Let's use this one. It always helps to get hoses like this from these pins. And here we go. Here is that entire electronic unit, which if I'm if I'm correct, it's not rebuildable because it's held together with this steel clamp. It's not like a bunch of bolts and we can finally, we will be able finally look inside. We can see the electronic pins right here. They are totally fine. They are not bent or missing, but we will be able to look inside and hopefully, hopefully find out what happened and why is it not working anymore. Meanwhile, I can show you the opening in that charcoal canister do you see it right there this is that mesh this is that filtering system which is inside this box and that basically supposed to deal with those fumes from the gas tank when i was looking up these things the smallest part from toyota i was told is that entire charcoal canister assembly however this part has toyota and denso part numbers toyota is nine zero 
910-AF001. The DENSO is 8821-0030, made in Japan. So here goes that metal clip. It's pretty hard, so it will be probably way better if I just cut it. I feel like a little geeky kid because I personally can't wait to see what will be inside and if we actually can make a judgment why this entire huge part failed and had to be replaced. I really wonder. I moved from that large table because that color of it is not good for filming. The camera was setting to just too dark. So I'm here, but there are other challenging challenges with this card. I should probably just use the cutoff wheel <laughs> because we are damaging this part anyway able to peel it off completely. Right, this is what I want to share with you. It's made of upper and lower part. So here goes that entire circling clamp, if I can call it that way. I'm hopefully I'm staying in inside in middle of the screen. I'm looking on that and then I'm not looking on the camera screen so hopefully I'm staying out inside and now I'm trying to spread these two parts from each other all right so here we are the metal clamp is gone look at it and if I damage it what can we do that's not a problem but I want to see inside is it rust is it dust ooh, ooh. No, we have here is the the terminal. I have to be careful. So I looked off the camera closely, and I realized this will separate. Okay. So here we have these contacts. They were right here, nicely routed. Excuse me. Here you can see it. So you see the contact. So that's one of the parts. Here, what we are looking at, there is definitely small filter right here. And if you look correctly, it's coming to this opening. Do we have a correct light? Do you see inside this? I switch to the camcorder and that camcorder I can come way closer to the lens so you can see you can start you can start seeing these details all right so that's that filter it looks like a paper filter element here will be another electric unit switching valve which must be connected to this after looking at these contacts right here you can see very little electronic board also none of these parts seems to be damaged burnt all the soldering seems to be absolutely perfect so let's continue with our disassembly and see if i can take it apart even more maybe this part will come out this way that's about my little prying fella which should be a very different story don't you think mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of breaking anything because it's already broken I use different screwdriver larger and it suddenly popped and jumped up oh hey, hey. what just what did we just heard something fell somewhere uh-huh so we have another spring 
see that another little uh, piece of plastic oh look at it and this whole valve supposed to be nicely moving there's a diathrum right here uh, listen to the sound I will think this part is totally fine because the sound and movement in my opinion is consistent with the normal function let's check first since this valve has this closing function right here closing and opening let's see if there is a continuity in it therefore if it can even work so I will put it in the arms open circuit when I touch it should go to the zeros right now I have closed and let's see if there continuity if there is between these leads yes there is all the parts are moving unfortunately but when I touch it really strong it has a resistance of 28 ohms I'm trying to zoom on it for you so you really will see those details I have one of the terminals already hooked let's see what it will do right this is the valve look at it so actually when the voltage is applied it correctly closes and opens this unit when I see this electronic parts there I'm not sure if there will be any continuity on these contacts might be so this one reads 17 milli ohms hmm. let's see what will happen if we apply voltage to this unit I hear very slight click yep something's clicking inside what is inside of this puppy you may ask well I better go and look don't you think otherwise you might be mad that I don't look when I have a chance Funny exploration on Toyota parts. Mm. What we got here? Oh yeah. So guys, this is a vein pump. And this pump should be running. Not just clicking. Uh-huh exactly this is what the veins should be distributing it should be moving the air between these two ports this one and this one right here but it's stuck it won't look this is a motor the veins are falling off right but this is electric motor and this motor is not running it's not working now it might need a different voltage or signal but in general if we give it 12 volts it should be running that shaft of that motor freely turns it feels very good I don't think it's rusted inside or anything we don't also see any rust let's see if it will move 
So, plus on plus. This is a little bit goofy, but let's see if the shaft will spin. Are you serious? Not only it doesn't just click, it stopped clicking and it's a miniature electric motor which is perfectly running. Let me zoom you. This is the advantage of this camcorder. You will be able to see it. This is amazing. So it was stuck somehow. Do you see that shaft? It's extremely quiet. Let's put this back without the bottom, middle and top part. Let's see if it will be more visible. Look at it. This motor, I don't see any, you know, I don't see any bad contact. I don't see any rust on it, but it decided to work. I didn't want to take half of your day, so I was able to put it together. And this is our final moment of the truth. Uh, will it do the same click like when we came? There was a very little barely like a... Tuk, tuk. You probably didn't even hear it in the camcorder, but let's see. Let's see together if this actually could have been fixed purely theoretically. One more time, I have a plus here. I have this goofy setup, sorry for that, but this is what I just wanted to grab. Let's give a listen to this unit. I don't wanna get in your way. I don't know what it will make for a sound, but let's see. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is fully functioning Wayne pump, which is ran by electric motor. Look at this. Look at this. No. Let's just confirm it. perfectly running unit. We were right, we didn't see any corrosion here or anything. We know exactly why I replaced this entire unit. It was right here. Wow. So here you got it, my friend. It was another fun video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. And have a great day, my friend.